Oh, by the way, speaking of WoW, um, in Season of Discovery, look at this, guys. People are already mob tagging in solo self-found. That's right, guys. They're cheating. Who could have expected this? Mob tag self-found. It seems those self-found hardcore players are taking advantage of the mob tagging system to achieve level 60 in the new self-found Wow. Mode. Mob tagging became prevalent throughout official mm -hmm. hardcore and it looks to be the meta for easy low risk leveling and self-found. <sighs> This is the main reason why I never really bothered covering SF. Level 60. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Guys. Guys. The first thing is, why would you cheat in a mode that's supposed to be self-fulfilling? You're only cheating yourself. Okay. We, we've, we've talked about that. We've I think that Blizzard made a mistake by... I mean, not really. It's, it's like, it's probably just a setting... But like solo self found, it's like you think about concentric circles of people that it's actually even there for. Like who the fuck really cares about solo self found? Nobody cares about it. Nobody actually was interested in this. The only reason people talked about it was because streamers were getting handouts. Covered it. Now, since players Nobody are gonna cheat the achievement like this, if you're Blizzard, what do you do? My suggestion, and I've said this many times, is a very simple one. You ban. Okay, no, sorry. This, I, I was I was thinking about I was thinking about the, the gold selling solution. I've talked about that one a lot too. You ban the people that, that buy the gold. That's not that's not what we're talking about. He's right. For 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 mob tagging, what you do is if you are attacking a spider, and the spider has a hundred percent life and you do 20% of the damage, and then someone comes up and does the other 80%, that means you would get 20% of the XP because you did 20% of the damage. Now, if you're in a group with someone else, yeah, you would split the XP like normal. But I'm yeah. talking if you're ungrouped, you do 20% of the damage, you'd get 20% of the XP. If you do 80% of the damage, you'd get 80% of the XP. You do 100% of the damage, you get 100% of the XP. Right? And now, the first thing that people usually say to this is like, well, someone could grief you by killing the mob. Yeah. And that's true. But that's also already true. Because if you're a level 1 grinding on spiders, you could have a level 60 come up and one-shot it at 99% every time, and you would get 0 XP, and like, you, you it, yes, you can already grief. It, yes, don't do that. Don't be that guy. You can already do that. I do I think it'd be easier. I don't think that Blizzard needs... So, like, this is one thing that I think Blizzard does a lot, is that they contrive the game in order to make it fair, and they end up making the game worse in the process of making it fair. I am very much against that. If you want to cheat in solo self-found... Nobody really gives a fuck if you got to level 60 solo self-found in Classic WoW. You're not going to put this on your resume. Nobody that isn't balding even knows what this is. Like, nobody gives a fuck. So if you have people that are cheating the game and they're doing these goofy little methods, just let them do it. Who cares? Like I, I would I would hate to see the game be made slightly worse because the Blizzard is trying to micromanage the dozens of players that are playing solo self found, so they completely change the mob experience calculation rate. Like this seems like a massive mistake to do. I understand what Zaryu's saying, and if they had specific servers for it, I think his argument would make a lot of sense. But the truth is that there are always going to be ways that you can take advantage of having other players help you. And this fixation that like classic WoW players especially have on trying to make this easy game into something that's taken seriously as a gaming accomplishment is the most misguided and sad thing I've seen in the last probably five years. Because classic WoW is an easy game made for babies. So why not just let it be an easy game made for babies that's fun and enjoyable and it feels good to play? Like, wh why is it always, like, why does it have to, like, feed the ego of some 40-year-old man? Like, what is this? Like, wh why can't the game just be fun? It's like Dark Souls is a good example of this. Or, um, 
you know, Grand Blue Relink. Like, are there ways that you can cheat fights and you can make things easier? Yeah, there are. And like, you know, you can use these different combos and you can make your character way more powerful. But that does that take away the accomplishment that people have whenever they beat the game? No, it doesn't. And so just like stop trying to design and and like fix the game around like 5% of 5% players. Stop doing this. Stop worrying about it. If somebody wants to cheat the mode, who cares? It, it, it's... it's I don't know. Am I crazy? Yeah. Am I crazy? Like that? That's that's the way I see it. It's like it, WoW was never made to be a solo. It was never made to be a hardcore game, a one life game, and it was never made to be played solo cell found. That's not the way the game was designed. So if you change the game to reward players and make this like a functionality in the game, you will probably make the game worse in the process because that is not the fundamental function of the game. That's That would be lame. Um, but yeah, I think this would instantly solve the problem. You do 50% of the mob's life, you get 50% of the XP. It wouldn't you because you'd still have people that are killing quest mobs for you, for example. So like th all this would solve is it would make it to where you can't do mob grinding in the way that you can now. You would still have people that would have, you know, oh, you want to go kill Lieutenant Fangor. Okay, well, you have somebody escort you over there, you tag Lieutenant Fangor, they kill it for you, and then you still loot the paw. So, like, there's always going to be a way that somebody is going to cheat the system and get over on the system. You see what I'm saying? Like, trying to stop people from cheating the system will just make the game worse. This is what, like, for example, like, the last time they tried to do this was in, like, BFA, right? Where they, they were like, okay, well, we're going to add an AoE cap. And we're going to make it to where, like, you can't, you know, you don't have a count-wide Azerite necklace. And it's, like, all of these, like, restrictions to try to, like, fucking handicap, like, 0.1% players. So, like, everybody has to play with ankle weights on because some people are trying to fuck around and do something like, oh, my God, they're going to clear the raid in six days instead of seven. Whoa, my God, let's change the whole thing. Shut it down. What is this? What are we doing? What the fuck? It's crazy. 70% of the mom's life, you get 70% of the XP. If you're in a group, nothing changes. Easy clap, right? I think that's what Blizzard should do to solve this issue. Is it a very high priority? Probably not because... Somebody says we just needed a full server with the rule set. No, you didn't. You don't even think. Do you think some... What happens whenever somebody gets to 60 on the, on the self-found server? What do you think happens? Then they start selling mob tagging. Because it's the best way. Like, guaranteed, they're selling the carries then. You're not even thinking. You have to think about what people are going to do. You add a fucking server for this, the same thing happens. That's what I was saying. This is a fucking, this is a never-ending problem. Please, think about it. Think about, stop thinking about what would work, and stop, start thinking about what would happen if I did this. Like, what is the cause and effect? Because you're just thinking about the cause. You're not thinking about the effect. Think about the effect. Is, you know, how many people are actually playing this and how many people are actually cheating. I mean, it's very low on the priority list, right? But yeah. If it was me, that's probably what I would aim for because it would instantly fix the problem. Um, cool. It would not. It would not. Mob? People would still sell carries for killing the mobs for the quests. They would still sell carries for elite quests. They would still sell anything that they possibly could. They would sell kills for mobs that are hard to kill. There are so many different ways that you can take advantage of this system. Like, and also self-found. It's not solo self-found. So then people could do a dungeon with you and just pass you the loot. This is, you know, this is like a fucking Russian nesting doll of exploiting. And the only way you win is putting all the dolls together 
and throwing it in the garbage and saying, if you don't want to fucking do this legitimately, then be a fucking cheater, cheat the game, I don't give a fuck. You can download the Elden Ring mod that literally turns you into an attack helicopter that blows up every boss with a nuclear bomb. And if you want to play through the whole game that way, that's totally fucking fine. But that doesn't mean that they have to change the entire way, like, oh, bosses can't take this much damage in one hit now. Like, what are we doing? Why are we even thinking about these top 0.01% like exploiters cheaters who cares it's crazy is that actually a thing yeah it is i think it's actually a, a, a like a, a, a b2 bomber or something like that but yeah i don't know am I, am I am i am i off base with this i just i think that like this is just again as somebody who's been a, a wow player for 15 years i played wow for 15 years i know that anything that blizzard puts in the game players will exploit they will cheat and you know what that's okay Stop making the game worse to prevent five cheaters. It's like, for example, Blizzard completely changed the way that Dark Moon satchels work. They used to not be account bound, or sorry, not be soul bound. And so what I did, let me see, can I, do I have a video of this? This is actually really, this is really fucking funny. Ah, fuck. So basically what I had people do is I had everybody make a character a level one character on my server and i gave them one gold and i had them go to the dark moon fair and do all of the missions for me and then turn in the missions and then give me the bags so i could open up the bags and get this uh get the tickets out of the bags and i got the mount the you know like the dark moon dirigible like the big zeppelin mount i got that on day one and you know how by exploiting and you know what blizzard did they fixed it why the fuck did you fix this there's 17 people that are going to do this. You're devoting time to handicapping 17 people? Where's the, where's the proportional response? Like, what about the rest of the game? Why, why, like, why have you made the game more annoying in order to prevent people from doing something stupid? And this is what I think WoW has done for, like, I'm not fucking kidding you, ever since Legion. Ever since Legion... WoW has been focused more about being fair than being fun. And that's why Classic WoW is so good. Is because it's not fair, but it's fun. I don't know how I got this mad about a two-minute clip. I know Zaryu was really excited about Soul Southbound. I think that, I I mean, I, again, I'm not really the target audience for it. I get that, you know, he's you know, a different audience, right? I like Zaryu a lot. I'll link you guys to the video. He's a great guy. I don't think this would have solved it, though. I really don't. It's new servers wouldn't have solved it. Nothing would solve it. People are always going to find a way to get around the system. Just try to make a system and give people the ability to feel good about it rather than trying to, like, micromanage it. Yeah, bro, like, I... <sighs> Ever since the OG Wreck Bomb, Blizzard moves quick? Nah, there are a lot of, like, really dumb bugs that were in the game for years. They can't do anything about gold towers, boosters, destroying capital cities. Yeah. You speculate why Blizzard devotes energy into mood issues like that? The reason why is because Blizzard receives a feedback loop from high interest and high engagement players like high, high level arena players and high level raiders. Because a lot of the people that work at Blizzard used to be high level arena players and high level raiders. So they know, like, they're basically talking to people in the top 0.1%. And they're making responses and changes to the game based off of that feedback. And like you think about how much different somebody who does arena all the time, what their viewpoint on the game is. It's an echo chamber. Yeah, I think so. Zaryu is kind of over WoW. I'm really happy to see Zaryu playing other games. Zaryu is playing like they get that getting over it climbing game. I I'm great. I, I think that's great that he's doing that. I think Zaryu is amazing. Like he's a great streamer. I like him a lot. 